All right, so Lauren is going to confront something. This is where the injury occurred. This is a cellar here, and uh, she fell down these stairs. Hi, so I'm at the manor. It's the day before Mother's Day, May 13th, 2023. I'm here with Justin and Leah and Isaac, and I'm going to do something that... I've been thinking about all day, and that is to look at the stairs that I fell down. So I'm gonna go right now with Justin, um, and we're gonna go. Justin showed me a video of the stairs, but I myself have not gone and seen them, nor have I, I don't think I've driven past them. So, Right now, we're driving through the little hallway. This is the path that I took. With a tight squeeze. So right now, we're driving past the kitchen. This is my first time I'm getting uh, scared, to be honest. Um, just having the door open is uh, terrifying for me. Oh my God. Is this steep step down? So there's a lip on this. So look right here. Here's the staircase, okay? There's a lip right here. All right, now when it's dark, it's really hard to see. And so when she came in here, there was stuff on the wall that we were trying to go get a bag of some sort. And I think this step right here probably did it. Um, but here, you want to pull a little closer? Yeah. Okay, so then down there and down to the bottom is where she fell. Yes. So... Does it go straight down? So there's some stairs right there. Yeah. So Is that where the stairs start or those? That's where they start. So there's a lip right here, which makes me think that maybe it actually was the lip. There's like this weird top step situation here that you could have, you know, maybe somehow that just made you, you might have stepped here. I'm not exactly sure. I think I was looking for the bags. Yeah. And then, and it's just and not, it's not a traditional top step. And that's what I think I Yeah. I did. Can you bring me a little closer? Yeah, so here, let's go a little closer. Okay. And I will I'm gonna I got you, but I'm gonna turn it just a little bit this way. So and look down. Oh my god. Can you see it? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay, okay. That's where it was. That is probably the scariest thing. I've ever seen in my life. And that is the thing that almost killed me. Mm -hmm. But it didn't, motherfuckers. <laughs> it didn't kill me. No. It brought a new Lauren out. A brave Lauren. I've always been brave. But this is a whole new level of bravery right what i'm doing right now it really is I, I, I never would have thought you would have done this and in fact after it happened i was skeptical you'd ever even want to come back to the manor and you've confronted that this is i think the third or fourth time you've been back um dr ben my psychologist and i talked about this yesterday he said he wanted me to look down the stairs and do it i all day was uh a little wreck. I don't know if you noticed that, Justin. Yeah. Can you see down to the bottom? All the way down? There? I cannot. Okay. So, I, I what think if... you're going to be okay. I'm just going to turn it a little bit more like this. Okay. okay. I'm going to turn it. Can you see it now? That is incredibly steep. So, that so wall... So, I fell. So, that wall, you were sitting with your feet facing the stairs and your head on the wall. Like, you were sitting like a, just like you would sit. Somehow, you tumbled into a sitting position... So down there, you had 
your feet facing the stairs and your head was up against the wall. The head did it. I don't know. I don't know if that's what did it or not, or if it. Well, after I hit my head, it felt like my arms and legs were being ripped apart from my body. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Now then, I remember coming down. I said, "Can you do anything?" And you shook your head no, and then your eyes closed. Now my my recollection is I called nine one one. Fortunately, they answered right away, and they sent people. And with they had me do chest compressions on you, and I couldn't tell if you were breathing. Now, what were you going through that you remember in your in your brain or mind or? I remember the arms and legs being ripped apart. I remember you being with me. I remember obviously seeing Atma and Grandpa Bobby and some other spirits with me. I was saying, I don't want to die. And they kept telling me it's not my time. And um, I'm not sure if like I crossed over almost, but I told them I can't die. I have to be there for my kids, my babies. And I don't know if Leah was at the top of the step, Justin. Yeah, so I remember when I was down there, Leah was at the top of the step and she was yelling. I do remember mommy. her yelling mommy. And then and and fortunately you were not holding either kid when you fell. That's that's a huge blessing. But I remember um, her screaming mommy. Yeah. And um knowing that I couldn't get back up to her. That was really hard. Yeah. And obviously Isaac was a newborn. You know, thank God I wasn't holding either of them. Right. So I think that um this is this is one of the bravest things of, of all the many brave things I've seen you do. I hope that this um, experience will um, help me through my healing journey. You know, I've taught people how to fall my whole life with skating and whatnot. I think I was trying to get my bearings and it was dark and I was looking for the bag. It's so stupid. Wow. And uh, I confronted it. Yeah. I'm looking down at them right now. Looking at that cobblestone wall. I'm just grateful that you got to me in time. Yeah, and that you didn't have a brain injury. You could have had a brain injury too. I could have been a vegetable. The way that you hit your head like that. That is a blessing. I didn't have a brain bleed or anything. So if somewhere someone's looking out for me, actually lots of people are. And the prayers and the amount of support we have with our family and friends. Thank you for believing in me too and for being there for us through this journey. And we're going to do something special with it because right now I'm empowered. That's how I feel right now. Hmm. And uh, if you can do this, you can do anything. It's true. So almost 10 minute long video, but I think no, I know. It's just something. And uh, I confronted it. So happy Mother's Day to all the badass bitches out there. The moms, the moms that are doing it by themselves. The moms that are um, don't, don't have kids, that have fur children. Yours to be celebrated too the aunts and the sisters and the wives and anyone who's taking care of a kid. Thank you for what you do. And uh, I'm grateful that I have my mom and my mother-in-law times two and uh, aunts and sisters and friends. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
So right now we're driving back from the stairs. I feel a weight's lifted off me a little bit. You look like it. Really? You do. That's why I'm taking a video. So we can, you can splice it and yeah. work your Justin magic. Wow. That's impressive. I mean, like I said, of all the things I've ever seen you do, that's way up there on the bravery scale. Isaac. Mr. Poopy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a milestone? What is she doing that she didn't do before? She's managed to stay straight. She presses her fore forearms. She's getting straight. She walks with her core muscles, with her head, with her shoulder, with her back. I'm just support her hip. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it, yeah. In the beginning, what is in the beginning? Like three weeks ago, I need to hold her like that. You remember? You were like uh, one body, <laughs> and now you can do it almost by yourself. So it's good. Not candy, baby. <laughs> There's Miss Destiny. Yeah, hey, look at that giant one you have. Jeez. <laughs>